I gotta switch. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I have missed this man in game. Let me hear your sweet voice. <laughs> your soothing voice, dude. Greetings, traveler and Paimon. I heard there would be guides for the Iridori Festival, but I didn't expect it would be you two. Hi. <laughs> Great, I'm all giddy now. <laughs> we didn't expect to see you either. Returning as a guest for the Iridori Festival, no doubt. <laughs> I was a little surprised myself when I received the invitation. But after wandering the outside world for so long, it's good to have an opportunity to return to my homeland and pay respects to my old friends. Oh. Hazra, when we saw you in the distance just now, you seemed to be looking for something. What happened? Oh, did you lose something? Ah, yes. You see, when I came off the boat with everyone just now, I suddenly heard light footsteps around me. Oh, that's right! <laughs> he said he has super hearing. I could tell they were not footsteps of a regular passenger. But by the time I turned around, the person had already disappeared. I only heard a splash come from below the pier. Oh, they dove into the water. Mm, interesting. Even though I didn't manage to catch a glimpse of them, I found this strange piece of paper by my feet. Ooh, and then they're part of the puzzle. Oh, does the paper happen to have a poem written on it? Huh. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, long story. <laughs> Fascinating. It's almost hard to believe such things could happen. Kazuha. Can you show us that piece of paper? Sure. Here it is. Please, have a look. The Five Casa in Splendor, Akahito. Long have I been famed, and since my youth I had great ambition. I stamped every new verse with a scarlet seal, and thus was I known to all. Scarlet seal! Hey, he, wait! Is this because Kazuha has a maple leaf, or is it because of something else? But last year when we presented our verses, mine was found to be taken from poet's past. For the theft and deception, I was banished into the wilderness. The five radiant lights never shall be again. Ah, how the tides do shift. That's exactly like Kazuha. He had the... He was kind of banished, but he had the run. He was on the run. Last time, Aoi no Okina's poem ended with a reference to Akihito. And sure enough, this is a story about him. The story this time basically says that Akahito got his name from his love of red seals. However, the Shogun discovered that he had committed plagiarism, and he was soon exiled. Really? Well, if Paimon were to rate today's story, it sounds pretty unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, the other stories weren't much better either. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this story. I too was once wanted as a criminal by the Shogunate. So I'm not all that different from Akihito mentioned in this story. I just said that! But according to the story, Akihito was exiled by the Shogun because of his wrongdoings. You did nothing wrong, Kazuha. Technically he did because he took uh, his friend's vision and ran. The seal mentioned in the story. Maybe you can help Shincho. Ah, by the way, you mentioned that your friend has been struggling because he's unable to sign his name quickly, right? In Liyue and Inazuma, there is a saying, that which has been stamped has also been signed. Perhaps using a seal could be a feasible solution. Yes. <laughs> While sailing at sea, I sometimes carve things to pass the time. If you wish to create a stamp for his seal, I might be able to help. How convenient! <laughs> wow! That's an idea! Quick, let's go tell Albedo! Yay! Okay, I'm for this part. Okay, for this part, I'm not gonna play as Kazuha because that's just gonna be weird. At least to me. <laughs> so. We'll just have to play as Shogun for the for the day. 
Albedo. We brought your 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 third, uh, you know, <laughs> inspiration. Interesting. A story of the five Kassen appears again, and with a timely solution. A stamped seal, huh? Hmm, let me think. Indeed, it is an efficient solution. If we use a stamp, then Xingxia won't have to struggle with his handwriting anymore. However... However? Is there another problem? Since Xingxia's signature has been previously revealed to the readers, it would seem... Insincere if he only used the stamped seal for his new books. Mm. But I have another idea. Using a seal is a part of it, of course. Uh, let's go to Uya restaurant now to discuss my idea with everyone. Okay, I'm going in town again. <laughs> yes, that's it, Jenny. Your writing has greatly improved today, which means yesterday's intensive training was effective. Oh dear. <laughs> my apologies, but I simply can't do it anymore. My hands are so sore that I can't even move them anymore. Oh, I should have known better than to read novels during calligraphy class. <laughs> Never skip your studies. You just had a ten minute break. Come on, you can do this. That's a little harsh. When man. it comes to pushing a deadline, there's no one more brutal than Mr. Hirayama. I was gonna say, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> no wonder Lady Yai would always send the editorial director to handle troublesome authors. <laughs> Whoa. This is getting scary. It hasn't even been that long, and Shincho's already zombified. <laughs> Mr. Hirayama, we found a solution that might just solve our dilemma. In both Liyue and Inazuma, seals are widely used as the equivalents of a signature. If we use a stamp to leave the author's seal on the books, then we could make the signature process a lot easier. Of course, a seal on its own is not enough. So, I propose that each signature consists of two parts. Mm -hmm. First, we'll use a personalized seal. We can simply carve one using Chen Yu's signature as the design. Oh, I know what- okay, I understand now. In addition, I'll also design a simple but elegant pattern that's easy for Chen Yu to write. That way, he will only need to draw a simple pattern on each book. Hmm, let me think. Alright, I think that would work. Not only does it still involve the author's own handwriting, but the result should be very beautiful as well. So, what you mean to say is, I've been saved from this predicament? No, Sinjo, you still have to practice. Mr. Hirayama, it suddenly occurred to me that the reason we gave up on live book signings previously was because it would take too long for the author to sign each book. But if we adopted Calx's proposed method, we might have enough time to do signatures at the live event. And if all the authors sign their books in the same fashion, then Gen Yu's signature wouldn't look out of place. Well, if you think it's feasible, I would certainly be happy to design signatures for the other authors as well. <laughs> yes, and you may leave carving the stamps to me. My boys are going to be busy. In that case, I shall contact the other two authors participating in the new release event. Bum 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 bum. It is a great honor to use a signature designed by Calx. My pen name is quite complicated and isn't suitable for signing events. However, if we implement this new format, then it'll be a dream come true for me as well. I'm gonna try to pronounce this guy's name. Karen Koji Kenza Boru. Yeah, I can see why that's a bad idea for... <laughs> or not a bad idea, but a hard time for you to sign your name. Great! Looks like everyone's on board with the idea. I'm sorry to have kept you busy for so long, Jen Yu. Please, take the next few days to have a good rest. We'll handle everything from here. Okay. The books that Jin Yu already signed can be used as special prizes in future events held by the I Publishing House. <laughs> well then. <sighs> we did it. The event is saved. Thanks to everyone's efforts, Onodera and I are finally free of that mess. <laughs> That's right! You're finally free, Xingqiu! Maybe you should step outside for some fresh air. That's a good idea, Paimon. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I guess we're leaving now. But look at all these books! Man! Hmm, we still have some time to burn. Where should we go next? Venti! <gasps> Ayaka! Sure, there you are. It's been so long! Oh my goodness, look at all these faces. 
<laughs> They're all meeting each other. This is great. Oh, it's Ayaka and Venti. That's an interesting combo. <laughs> That's for sure. I was just going to the festival venue to prepare the Ikebana lesson when I found a strange piece of paper on a flower stand. Oh, so her she's the fourth one. Okay. This bar just happened to be close by at the time. He informed me that you've also found similar papers recently. As such, we came together to find you two. But the paper she found isn't quite the same as the ones we found before. Oh. Here's the paper. Please have a look. Five cost. Blah, the five costs and splendor. Sumizome. I submerged the verses into clear water, and the truth did emerge. Huh. All the poems we found before were roughly the same length. But this one is only two lines. And even though there are only two short sentences, not. Hmm. Oops. The position of the writing seems to indicate that there is other content written on this paper besides these two lines. I'm so sorry, I misclicked. <laughs> if we take the poem literally, it reads, Dip this paper in water and see the truth naturally appear. Okay. Speaking of which, I have an ancient text at home specializing in ancient and exotic stories. It mentions a special ink that will show itself when wet and disappear when it's dry. Invisible ink? So, shall we give it a whirl? It just so happens that there's a pond nearby. Fenty? Mm, okay. Where are we going? Why the pond? Shincho, you're a hydro user. Why are we going to a pond? Well, this is an angle. <laughs> Let Paimon see what it says. The Five Cast and Splendor. Sumizome. Going over this, going over his poetry, I found that the plagiarized piece did not have his scarlet seal. I submerged the verses into clear water, and the truth did emerge. The true verses were not washed away, but the text of that despicable crime faded. Aoi no Okina passed by me as he was writing a verse for Akihito. One storm had yet to settle, and it, already, and it was already time to write new poems. Hmm. Story says that after Sumizomi got the collection of poems from Akihito and put them into a stream of water, the plagiarized words in the poem became blurry. Huh? Why would that happen? Because the ink didn't settle? You see, Paimon, in the past, when printing was not yet well developed, handwritten text could easily become smudged in books when exposed to moisture. To ensure the text lasted longer, they'd either write using a special ink or coat the paper surface with a waterproof coating once the writing was finished. Oh, that's interesting. Such special inks are time consuming and laborious to produce, and the waterproof coating could also prove just as difficult. However, since Akihito's poetry collection was an important gift to be presented to the Shogun, surely one of those two methods was used to protect it. But as for the plagiarized poems, not only would they lack Akihito's seal, but the words would also react differently when exposed to liquid. So this poem wasn't written by Akihito. It was added later by someone else. <gasps> Which means Akihito didn't plagiarize his work! He was set up! Yes, it appears that this is the truth that Sumizome's story is trying to convey. Although the story is saddening, I've decided on the subjects to use for Akihito and Sumizome's portraits. <laughs> Ayaka and, um, uh, Kazuha. Kazuha. Ayaka. Would you be willing to be the models for my paintings? I would be delighted. <laughs> yes, as would I. Yes. And now that all four stories have all been collected, the story of the five Kasin is now fully completed. Wait, there's one more. Long ago, Inazuma had five legendary poets. 
people bestowed upon them the title of the Five Kasen. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. <gasps> Akahito had once belonged to the Five Kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red seal. Oh, it's hence so cute. the Aka in his name. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. Oh no! Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the five Kasen remained. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby, and only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission, and this is where the story comes to an end. Wait, there's... F that was four, though. Where's the fifth one? He looks so cute! <laughs> oh, wow. The brush strokes... Paimon? What's wrong? Yeah. Ever since we completed the story of the five Kasen, there's still one thing Paimon hasn't been able to figure out. What's that? One of the five Kasen is called Kuranushi, right? Exactly! There's five! That was only four! It's just that... How could the story of the five Kasen finish without him appearing at all? I think he did appear. And he's the one who threatened... Um... Aoi no Okina. Oh. <laughs> uh, have you really not noticed? Huh? Not noticed what? Uh, this is no time to be playing games, Tone Deaf Bard. Like the shadow figure hand in Aoi no Okina's verse? Well, what he means is that the story of Kuronushi was already embedded within the four poems. Huh? Really? <laughs> That's right. The key lies in the poem that Aoi no Okina wrote after seeing Sumizome rinsing the poetry collection. What? An average person could never understand the scene of a young girl washing Akahito's poetry collection in a stream. Even Aoi no Okina couldn't figure out the meaning behind Sumizome's actions. He was simply reminiscing and thinking about his old acquaintances. Yeah, the that black hand right there. I think that's... Kurunishi. However, for the perpetrator who framed Akahito, it was completely obvious. Yeah. He was worried that if this poem was seen by the Shogun, then the Shogun could discover the truth behind the plagiarism incident. If that happened, then he'd be finished. So in desperation, he threatened Aoi no Okina to make him tear out this poem. Which means... The one who threatened Aoi no Okina is the same person that framed Akahito. The culprit is none other. The culprit is none other than Kuronishi. What? Kuronishi? Yeah. That's right. Though there are only four poems, they still managed to tell the complete story of all five Kase. I was right. <laughs> Man, context clues is awesome. Since the Shogun mentioned in the poems is certainly not the one of the five Kasen, the only character left is the mysterious one with an unknown identity. Yeah, aren't there five of those boards, though? Oh, okay. Paimon is finally starting to get it now. 
However, this also brings something else to mind. The story of the five Kasen has more or less reflected everything that's been happening around us lately. Which begs the question, is there a Kuronushi in our world as well? <laughs> I hope they reveal themselves soon. A Kuronushi? In our world? Hmm, speaking of which, I wonder if our dear Kazuha has come up with anything. He probably has. Look at him. Oh, right! Kazuha! He's been pretty quiet this whole time. Let's ask him! He looks like he's up to something. Are you okay? You've been standing in front of this blank canvas for a while, and you don't look so good. Apologies for making a wild assumption, but has the story of the five Kasen reminded you of anything? Yes. T a few things did come to mind, actually. However, they were nothing more than some past incidents regarding my family. See, it is, there's five of them, and there's one left that's still blank. I don't mind sharing the stories, but I'd prefer not to bring you any more trouble. Are you related to Kurunushi? Hey, we're all friends here, Kazuha. You can always tell us whatever's on your mind. Kaidehara, please forgive my assumption, but perhaps you were thinking of the ride in Gokuden? The what now? The ride in Gokuden? What's that? It appears that Miss Kamisato and I were thinking of the same thing. But it also has much to do with the Yashiro Commission. It would be improper to speak of it here without the consent of Miss Kamisato. Oh, well, she is in charge, along with her brother, so... It's fine. Those of us here are all trustworthy, so there isn't any harm in it. However, this matter is somewhat complicated and may be difficult to explain. Let me start with a ride in Gokuden. Okay. As you all know, the Yashiro Commission's primary purpose is managing ceremonial and cultural affairs, and Imazuma's art of forging swords is a very important part of our culture. The Raiden Gokuden were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Although these families were swordsmiths by craft, they also held many important positions in the Yashiro Commission. Unfortunately, of the five, only the Aminoma art still maintains its artisan lineage, the descendants of the Ishin art are also still alive, but the craft has been lost to time. Oh, that sucks. The descendants of the Ishin art are none other than the Kaidehara family. Oh, really? Whoa! We knew Kazuha came from a noble family, but we had no idea about his connection to the Yashiro Commission in sword making. Yeah, interesting. Yes, but that's all part of the past now. The Ishin art was lost with my great-grandfather's generation. Oh, that sucks. My grandfather was dissatisfied with my great-grandfather's lack of effort. When he was young, my grandfather traveled all over Tevat to find a way to revive the family business. But it was to no avail. Oh, uh, okay. And in my generation, our last remaining family property was lost as well. Oh. I heard my elder brother mention that the decline of the ride in Gokuden happened very rapidly. In the span of a few decades, three of the families suffered various misfortunes and disappeared completely. Hey, what if they were sabotage? Later, there was speculation that all of these misfortunes stemmed from some background machinations, meaning that someone wanted to wipe out the ride in Gokuden. But why? However, since not every family of the Raiden Gokuden came to ruin, such explanations were treated as nothing more than a conspiracy theory. Indeed. I've also believed such ideas were just theories and rumors. However, I know that a major incident happened to my great-grandfather when he was young. Did he refuse to speak about it? Is that why? Not only did it affect the Kaedahara clan, but it nearly jeopardized the Kamisato clan's position in the Yashiro Commission as well. No, that's, that's not good. After reading the story of the five Kasen, I can't help but feel like it's pointing me toward the truth behind that incident. What exactly happened to your great-grandfather, Kazuha? I still can't say. 
I need to speak with someone to verify the details. Let's meet here again at noon tomorrow. Okay. I will tell you everything I know then. I'm having speak to I'm having e Aw What we get? See? There's one left. It's so pretty though. Look at it. Ah uh, okay. Um Now let's go ahead and start this. Fire's guide to the statue of her excellency, the Almighty Shogun, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder. Okay. Where are we going? Oh! Zara! The Five Kasen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? Oh dear. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if it's someone from the Kujo clan. Hey, Sarah. Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? I'm just checking if... Nothing to report, but about the stolen books. It's fine, as long as it's been taken care of. Excuse me. Sorry for the inconvenience caused. This is my duty. I don't see it as an inconvenience. They make her as a fangirl for uh, Red and Shogun in the game. Like, make it canon. I'm so done. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices. Yeah, I really hate line cutters. <laughs> Even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents, <laughs> but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. <laughs> Ito. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing we uh, dealt with Ito instead of her because... Oh dear. Sounds tough. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. The Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission, so we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. I wonder if we'll see, um... Ren Shogun in this event. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one too! <laughs> what do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. Oh, come on now. You're not... We're not buying it for a second. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. Oh, she sold you out. <laughs> she sold her out. <laughs> that Lady Gucci. How could she disclose... <sighs> Never mind. Oh, come on. To be clear... I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh, she's gonna scold us now. Oh? What is it? That is not a figurine. It's a statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Ooh! <laughs> she did scold us. <laughs> or Paimon, at least. Oh! <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> this particular statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, is a brand new addition. There will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Oh, dang. Joker, it's spoken like a, uh, a truth fan. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So, so you definitely must have gotten your 
pretty early too then. Did you manage to get one yet? Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. Duty before self-indulgence. <laughs> <That's sex. laughs> You're required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Oh, she sounds so defeated. <laughs> Aww, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. Nice. Oh, right. Wait, you can do that? Oh, people do it all the time. Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first. But Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. So she showed, she sold her out, and then she's like, "Fine, I'll help you. Uh, get purchase one. Let me find someone for you to, to purchase it for you." What the hell? <laughs> she's just messing with everyone. I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine, or from the Yashiro Commission. But I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser, and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. Ito. I'm calling it. It's gotta be Ito. But wait, didn't he collapse? <laughs> Early riser and tall. Hmm? What was that sound? I didn't hear anything. Probably just the leaves. Really? Well, never mind. Oh. I've been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Stay safe during the Iridori festival. Miko! She's that tall! <laughs> this is a joke! This gotta be a joke! Where's the barrel? There's the barrel. Miko's just trolling Sara at this point. Sayu, what are you doing here? Oh, wait. Are you the professional? Shh, quiet. She might still be in earshot. Sayu, have you been slacking off again? No way. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... <sighs> Miko! I only meant to take a short nap, a really quick one. In short, you overslept. Oh, if I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryu Commission Tangle will lock me up for life. Surely not. Sheesh, goodness knows what Miko told you. <sighs> exactly. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Let me negotiate the price for you. Really? Great. Then, here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. I will try not to. I am not that good at um, haggling people. Or bargaining, I should say. All right, where are we going? Um, uh, two, and there's a third one. Okay, we'll start over here. I think the irony is funny. <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho God of Thunder, by any chance? I don't like this NPC. Sell it? Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. Good, I don't want it off your chubby fingers anyways. <laughs> Okay, that sounded rude. I didn't mean it to make it sound rude. <laughs> He's just so 
snobby about it. I mm, okay, moving on. Huh, you didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Who's, 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 who's buying all of them? Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm going to go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. Someone's buying them all. <sighs> After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. The first batch was smaller than I expected. And who knows when the next batch will come out? Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. Alright, this isn't... something's wrong. So, what's the point of this story? I can't believe it! I am definitely done for this time! Oh, saw you. A whole lot of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at A Pekasu? That is a name. I couldn't even try to pronounce that name. Epic Epicosu? I don't know. <laughs> mm, might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. Poor Sayu. Honestly, Miko. Kaede. Oh. Here we go. Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. But to whom? Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? I'm sorry, those are... Those are display only. What's the difference? Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Exactly. Look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. You sure about that? Hmm... Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? The... the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> no. No way. <laughs> oh, that noise was funny. Hmm? Sorry, who are you? This is the professional from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? No. Um, um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryo Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> Sayu. Uh, that's weird. How come Sayu's so motivated to work all of a sudden? She doesn't want to lose her money. Shh. If the Tenryo Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sarah will come ask me about it. And then she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine. And... Sayu is supposed to be Miko's handpicked professional. Anyway, we can't get the Tenryo Commission involved. Not unless there's no other way. Uh, okay, so it's a last resort. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Hmm. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all. Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. Technically, someone was here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did you hear anything in your sleep? Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. <sighs> I'll take these, please. Thank 
you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you, patronage. Oh, yeah! Now I remember! I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Huh? How many times? 300? Uh, I mean, I... Roughly, how long did each transaction take? Um... 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 I got it! There were at least 16 snores between each thank you for your patronage. I'm not doing math here. That's not how you count it! 16 snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves... Mm. It should take at least five hours to sell everything. Right! Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. But, which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. A mini school chance, but yes, you're not wrong. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky, not because I was being lazy. Hmm... So then, who's the bad guy? Good question. Hmm. Well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. No wonder each transaction took so long. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? By process of elimination... The remaining option is... If someone was up to no good, they'd definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. Good idea. Ah, oh, man. Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on the statue? <laughs> Dream on! Dude. I'm not in for this game. Huh? Why? It's not like we're trying to buy yours off you. It's a no, okay? No more questions. Suspicious. Huh? How come? A staff member sold it to you. How... How did you know? We're professionals. Huh? Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. <laughs> She's cute. Okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway. But let me be clear. Don't spread this around. Okay. I came here bright and early to line up. But the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that. So, I went around to the back door of a Pegasus to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on, but... He gave you a figurine to keep you quiet. Well, uh, yes, uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, so it was still a legitimate transaction. Was it a treasure hoarder? It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Oh, we've been caught. Huh? It's the Tenryo Commission? The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However, it is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. We have already investigated the situation at Apeikasu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. Ooh. But... but how can this be? Someone's in trouble. Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a snob about it, dude. Karma comes back and bite you in the butt. Ah, uh, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. Dude. 
You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hmm? Who's this? Uh-oh. Yikes! I've been spotted. Uh-oh. Don't run. This is Sayu. Oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. That is a long title. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh... Oh, Sayu. Hmm? Um, um... So, uh... About your statue... Sayu has been lining up since last night. Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder? But she saw someone misappropriating the statues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. <laughs> nice cover-up. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Nope. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't cry! Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Oh, great. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. What, me? Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? Sure, in for a pound, I guess. What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Okay, buyer's guide. Go to the nearby transaction site. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. You're in trouble, though. Mm. Okay, undercover work. Hmm? Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here. So, I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. We were referred by the one who caught you stealing the statues. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price you paid. Ow. Oh, great. The price has gone up again? But it's only been a few hours! <laughs> Well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, <laughs> good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Rude. Mm, we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. Will this figurine keep its value over time? <sighs> I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Now, oh, bananas. Uh, we will go... Uh, here. Ugh, fine, fine. I swear, if I wasn't in a rush to get rid of them... Ugh. Hold on! I... Uh, thinks there's still some room for negotiation. What's to negotiate? Do you want it or not? Yes. You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, 
quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now. Not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. Get him! Get him, Sarah! Get him! The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait. All that negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> Stick him up! <laughs> Thank you for your help. The culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Yay. Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. <laughs> oh, she's determined now. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. Ah. Paimon can't believe it! I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Okay. Although Sora didn't say anything, she seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Aww. Is there really nothing we can do? I guess so. I see. Uh, thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Okay. Well, see you then. Wait. Hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item... Ooh, you gonna give it away? Now that I think about it, why don't you have it as a gesture of my gratitude? After all... It was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. We will. R really? Shall we give this to Sarah? Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sarah, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh. I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. Not yet. Your mission's not over yet. Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> <laughs> Sayu. Sayu, signing out. No. <laughs> no, okay. It's cute! Let me see. The statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, that Sarah has been hankering after. Okay, we'll go give it to her at the behest the of the... world remains constant over the centuries. But human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Are you done? Thank you. Okay, we're going to the police station. The irony is kind of funny because I'm over here playing as Shogun. And Sara's trying to get a figurine of the Shogun. Oh, there she is. Sara! Look what we brought you! Oh. Is this? <laughs> we just grabbed it and came straight here! But now that Paimon takes a closer look at it, it's really well made! Of course. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Wow. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the almighty Shogun's majesty? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. Uh-oh. Ooh, I wonder if she's flattered. It's also essential to clean it often to avoid a buildup of dust. And it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Um, Sara, you might want to stop. Sara! Sara! Hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. 
And I haven't even finished explaining the first one. Um, you might want to stop, though. <laughs> I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> she did appear! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Your Excellency... This is most unexpected. <laughs> now she's embarrassed. I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? Or if she asked her to take a picture <laughs> with the figurine, that would be so funny. I, it's, it was... Are you feeling flustered there, Sarah? It was her. Hey, what? Yep, it was me. Oh, I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Oh dear. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. <sighs> okay, we'll hang on to it for you. <laughs> Very well, thank you. <laughs> She's so flustered. <laughs> oh! Watching Sarah leave, she looked kind of sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku. A sample sent by Yai Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. But we already have one. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. Nice. Or to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. Paimon, no more questions. <clears throat> Just... Oop, oh, we'll put it under my name. Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think we actually see her. Yay, we have the statue now. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That was cute. I like that. Okay. Before we go. I'm gonna do another quick pull. I doubt I'm gonna get Ayato, but I'm gonna keep going until the last day. As I suspected. <laughs> <laughs> 